Hey guys, Action here, and today's gonna be the patch 12.21 notes. These are pretty short, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, I haven't read this, it really just came out 13 minutes ago. Uh, Champions, Kesanti comes out. We'll see how he goes, nothing to really say there, honestly. Overall, looks pretty powerful. Uh, I don't think I'd play him even if he can jungle, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> Ari, uh, Orb of Deception, mana cost was 60 to 100, now it's 55 to 95. So five less mana cost. Damage per pass through was 40 to 140, 40% AP. Now it's 40 to 140, 45% AP. So a slight buff in mana cost and damage, only scaling damage though. And so yeah, yeah level one, you do have a five less mana cost Q. So it's, it seems to be more of a, ner of, I mean, a buff to like people just spamming with Ari. So whatever. Battle of Ith, uh, cooldown over E was 22 to 16 seconds. So it's 24 to 18 seconds. Uh, R, Endless Bait Banquet, Void Remora Health was 50, 60, 70. Now it's 40, 50, 60 of minions maximum HP. So, I don't agree with nerfing Belveth, first off, because the preseason is coming out soon. Like, the season's literally about to be over, and then the game's going to be completely different with completely different champions in the jungle because that the jungle pet monster does so much damage and makes so many different junglers able to jungle all of a sudden. So, it's like all of a sudden, Belveth might just be get destroyed or, like, you know, like, in theory, she can potentially like be outclassed by someone that's normally supposed to jungle. I also feel like a lot of people just stink at reversing her. Like, you just protect the Riff Herald. She really wants the Riff Herald. Kill her if she has a Riff Herald. And just run in a straight line if... Yeah, like, because if she misses her W, all of a sudden she has, like, nothing besides, like, a dash. Like, if she dashes forward to the W and you dodge that W, she cannot go to you anymore. And she just dies. Um... One of the strongest angles to also verse Belveth is when you're like northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest, because she can only go once directly towards you. If you're directly north of her and run directly north, uh, she can do double, double dash, dash. And so running in, you know, like an, an angle like this tends to be the way you beat her. I just feel like people just do not just refuse to play, uh, against her. Like for instance, I, I went to uh, a stream some guy with 2,000 viewers jungling, he misses a Nidalee Spear point blank against the Belveth, dies, and you just see people say, oh, Belveth's OP, like, no. He missed a Nidalee Spear and then fed Belveth, and Belveth can snowball easily. So it's like, how's that Belveth being OP? It could have been any other champion that got the kill. It's just funny. Um, but yeah, it just seems to me that the... So the art nerf, though, honestly... I'm not sure how big a deal it is. I guess it helps clearing it. I think they still take the same amount of tower shots if no one hits them. Like, melees can still take two. I'm not quite sure. If melees die in one shot at level six, then that's pretty big. But right now, melees can take two hits, just barely. I thought this was uh, changed last time in Belveth kind of, but it wasn't the case. They can still take two hits. So we'll see if they can take two hits. If they if they can only take one hit at level six, that's ginormous nerf. But if they can still take two hits, that's it's still extremely strong, and it's mostly for people. It's mostly to help people like oh, you know, wave clear them actually. Uh, but it just seems like you'll have to max your E for uh, or first now just because the cooldown's way too high. Um, looks like they, I think they went softer on it. I believe they changed because right, it's just twenty four to eighteen seconds. I think they were originally going to make it twenty six to eighteen. I might be wrong on that, but I vaguely remember the nerf being a bit rougher but i still think you'll pro i don't know I, I i honestly swear it was 26 like you know we're, we're just you know <laughs> yeah we, we, we don't care we're showing this thing we're, we're not showing that <laughs> wait i actually want to see if they actually they might have softened up the nerf i honestly really do think they did they softened it up but the thing is it might only be on twitter Let's look. Um, do, 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 do. I like I like how the PB never published it for some reason, which is actually hilarious. Like the PB is starting to be a, a more unreliable source of like information it appears because I can't even find changes. Like I can't actually can't even find this change. This change was posted by like that one guy with like a fiddlesticks icon. So, whatever. I mean, I don't want to waste of time. But, whatever. Regardless of whether or not it was, 
Um, I feel like more so you'd probably want to max E first. Uh, I'm not sure. Because it's not 26 to 18 seconds. Because originally if it was 26 to 18, you would actually get one point, uh, 1. 1.5 uh, less cooldown on it each rank. But now it's still one less. Uh, not not so. What is it? 1.5. Yeah. What was it? Was it two? I think it went down by two a ring. It was something like that. Maybe it was 1.7. I don't know. I don't care. But regardless, the, every time you ranked it was a bigger cooldown difference than current. But honestly, it, it TDR, it just seems like you're probably going to max E first just because the cooldown is going to be really long. And it's, it's probably going to be too long, a little bit too long. Uh, unless, I don't know. Because I'll be honest, sometimes when I jungle with her, I rarely E and only E if it's like, 100% fine when I'm jungling. If I usually don't do it because sometimes it might slow you down. I don't know. Quite interesting. But regardless, the win rate of E Max and Q Max have been relatively the same. But I wouldn't surprise me if E Max starts being better than Q Max just because all Max and Q does is a little bit more damage. Uh, the cooldown goes down by one second on each each one each direction. And minion damage. Minion damage doesn't really matter unless, like, I don't know, you're playing lane Belveth, but, like, I don't think it matters because usually you're going to have allies there anyway, so I don't think, I honestly do not think that matters. Um, again, I, I would have to try it out, but uh, regardless, yeah, E is probably better to max, I would think, just because of this nerf to compensate the nerf. Um, what was the reason? Belva has been Empress of the Jungle recently, which last we checked wasn't canon. We're adding more downtime to her E, so it's not always up, especially if she's been using it to farm, while also reducing her ability to sub, but leads so effectively with her all cute little baby morals. Um, would be especially if she's using it to farm. I, I'm, I'm not joking. A lot of people, like, it's not even that good of a farm tool. I don't know. We'll see. Because when I play her, if you ever eat a farm, it's usually the biggest mistake. Because if a fight all of a sudden breaks out, or you get jumped on, you just die. And usually it's just better to get Q. I don't know. We'll see. We'll honestly see. Uh, let's crank base stats. Uh, base health was 500, no, 653, now it's 633, so 20 less base health. Base match resist was 32, now it's 28. Four less match resist. That's quite a big nerd. That means poking him is more reliable as a strategy or viable. W overdrive bonus attack speed was 40 to 92. Now it's 30 to 82. So quite rough on that. Um, but screen jungles buffs has continued to make him a more potent threat to his opponent, only in the wrong position. We're tuning down his support strength, which has a bit overwhelming to his jungle oriented buffs in the last two patches. Again, I feel like I, I feel like you can even make this ability better only if you like Give this ratio if Blitzcrank has smite. I don't know. It's like, bro, if someone takes smite and support just so that they can have this, bro, like, they're freaking crazy, honestly, because I don't know. But, um, I don't know. This nerf is already quite sizable. I'm not sure how big of this. Like, Blitzcrank does a lot of damage to champions. That was the issue, which is probably the reason. But it's kind of stinky as late. It's kind of stinky as late game got nerfed because. Oh, over, when you when you're playing, I actually don't understand this nerf. Why would you nerf the late? Wait, Liz, why would you nerf the late game ratio if so, I believe somewhere Blitzcrank maxes at last, and like if you max W earlier, it's like garbage on support Blitzcrank. Um, so let's get this out. So let's look at support Blitzcrank. Let's look at Diamond Two Plus. Screw, screw it, right? Um. No, let's look at spells and abilities. So, eh, yeah, I mean, statistically, it's worse. Maxing W is just, this is also not a good sample size, but I mean, honestly, look at this. Like, look at the win rate, maxing Q, more opportunities. But, but you have the W. Hmm. Maybe it's okay then, just because I didn't, I'm not sure if I noticed this. Or maybe this is maybe this is higher because maybe it's fluctuate, but yeah, it seems like this, this W just does too much damage. So I don't know if I feel. I mean, I'm fine with that. It's just my only concern is that yeah, Blitzcrank jungle it does have a high win rate. I haven't really played it though, so I don't know how good it is actually is the jungle. The biggest thing about Blitz jungle though is that it's probably like borderline 49, 50 percent win rate ratio as long as you build a Frostfire or Sunfire Aegis first. The people building like 80 Blitzcrank and stuff is garbage. I also think that Presta attack or Aftershock is probably the best rune on Blitzcrank. Any other runes probably garbage. Um, so there's that. Uh, Corky. 
Health growth was 101, now it's 105, so four more HP per level, or rather, that's not how it works, it's just, it's different. It's not exactly four HP per level, okay? It, it's, it, it gets better as you level up. Attack damage growth, but realistically, he'll have, like, what, like, 72 more HP at level 18. Attack damage growth was 2.5, now it's 2.8. Again, this isn't a strictly a 0.3 damage uh, increase every level, it goes up high as you get higher. Uh, Bazaar, uh, Malefic Visions E, kills confirmed. Mal Malefic Visions will now execute minions below 15 is 45 HP levels 1 through 11. So important to note that levels 1 through 11, so once you get at level 11, it can't hit lower. Um, pretty big buff. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, maybe it's fine. I would have to play it, like, or examine it to see the impact of it. But, um, I mean, I guess it makes a champion easier to play. And because it could be frustrating. Because I think the thing about playing him and even like pro play is like he's unreliable in CSing, as in like the chance of like a maybe a minion stealing it or like it running out. Like it running out is usually a skill issue, but a minion casting it or something is usually like, wow, that sucks. Um It's probably fine. I think Malthor's not even doing too well anyway. I don't think he is. I'm not even gonna look. Um it's, it's honestly probably fine. I, I'm fine with this just because... I, oh, I just clicked on Malzor. Okay. I, I'm fine with this simply because... I didn't, know you, I didn't even know you can click on this. I'm fine with this simply because... I don't see Malzor at all. So it's like... I, I literally do not see the champion at all. Like... At all. So I don't really care. We can have more mages if it means like... The early game getting 10 more CS. Uh, Misfortune. Uh, magic damage on her E. Make it rain. Was 70 to 190, 100% AP. Now it's 70 to 190, 120% AP. So above the AP ratio. Slow is 50% plus 4% per 100% AP. Now it's 40% plus 6% per 100% AP. So they buff the AP ratio, but nerf the base. Our bullet time damage per wave was uh, 75 AD, 20% AP. Now it's 75 AD, 25% AP. So overall, they buffed the AP ratio a little bit. They nerfed, The biggest nerf, though, is the E. The utility on the slow is ginormous because that slow is actually very strong. So hitting that hurts AD carry misfortune a lot. It hurts AP misfortune a lot. AP, AP misfortune is probably still massive garbage because E does not have a scaling cooldown as you rank it up. So it's still very long. So yeah. So um, so so yeah. They even say it's kind of like an A ram change, but even then, bro, I like. I, I don't think they like AP Misfortune. I don't think anyone likes AP Misfortune. I don't. Orn, our updated maximum slow was 40 to 50 to 60%. Now it's 60% of all ranks. What? Sometimes there are bugs that end up becoming features. Orn's ultimate has been inflicting a 6% slow for some time now, and we've decided to make this feature official as of this past. Whoops, no, it's so much. What? How long has that been a thing? Bro, what the hell? Where's my Vi bug? Where they're like, oh, I can cancel my my Q with my recall. Where's my Where's my Vi bug? Where auto attacks were double? I'm just joking, but um, that's a slippery slope. I'm just saying. What's next? Yasa, right now there's a bug where if you dash tornado, you can you can I I think the bug is like you can dash tornado and then tornado again, like. It's either that or tornado dash tornado, like literally two knockups. Are we gonna call that a feature? Because I'm not joking. This was posted on League Red, and everyone was actually defending it. It was like freaking gross. It reminded me of RuneScape. It was actually disgusting. Like no, the champions that balance around that. Um, I don't know. I feel about that. That's kind of funny. I'm not sure. How, I wish they gave said how long. Probably years wouldn't that surprise me. Zen Zhao got buffed for some reason. Third hit bonus mag damage was 50 to 45% AP. Now it's 15 to 60% uh, AD. So it goes 15, 25, 35, 45. Now it's 15, 30, 45, 60. So level, so whatever the first rank is doesn't change. Then the second rank, it changes from 25 to 30. The third rank gets changed by 10. And the fourth rank is changed by 15% more AD. I'm not sure what... We're going to look at this fast. Zinzabuki... 
Uh, this passive is levels 1, 6, 11, and 16. So, if we look at this. Um, so, okay, level 1 doesn't matter. Level level 6, you get to 5% 5 5 more AD third hit damage, which is nothing to scoff at. That's quite big. It's, it's kind of even like having 280, kind of. Level 11 has 10... Yeah, level 16 are relevant, so it's really level 6 and 11. He has a 5 and then 10% AD ratio. He'll rarely get level 16. But that's a pretty big buff. Heal was 6 to 74 base and level. 10% AD, 55% AP. Now it's 6 to 74 base and level, so the same base. 10% AD, 65% AP, for whatever reason, if people build that shit. I mean, I, I, I mean, the thing, too, is I think Baron... Baron, I think, still gives AP, by the way, so... AP will buff Misfortune, I believe, a little bit, and Zenza a little bit. E cooldown was 12 seconds, that's 11 seconds. Pretty big buff. Overall, I think Zenza's a 40, 49% win ratio champion right now. I don't think he should have got buffed just because he's such an easy champion that he shouldn't be buffed to be a 51, 52%, 53% win champion because he's so easy to play. Um, Buffy is E is very dangerous too because that's his gap closer, and I believe the first thing you max, so pretty dangerous overall. Pretty, pretty uh, so pretty much like in that in the preseason, get ready to Benzal is gonna be played a lot. Maybe even towards the end of the season. Jesus. Uh, game remake updates. We're shorting the remake timer so you're able to remake a match when someone's absence would start affecting the match's competitive integrity if they've been gone from the start of the game. This patch is specifically modifying the underlying systems, and additional work is planned to make remake functionality more resilient. For more comprehensive explanation of the feature, see this player support remake fact. Uh, remake is available at three minutes. Now it's remake will be available between one thirty and three minutes. That's pretty good. I wonder how that works. Like maybe if someone, I'm guessing if someone didn't connect at all, you can remake at one thirty. If someone connected, but then like the DC as at like one twenty, uh, the remake will start at two fifty or something, right? At three minutes, the impacted team has sixty seconds to start a roll by typing slash remake in chat. If the remake conditions are met between game start and three minutes, teams will be ha have have from one thirty to three minutes to start remake vote by typing slash remake. You'll always have a maximum of three seconds to type remake from the conditions being met. So if the conditions are met at five two fifty nine. You'll have to wait. You'll have until three twenty nine to start a vote. Remake is now that's good. Re remake is now available in ARAM and rotating game modes with the same update rules. Oh, that's really good. Wow, that took a long time. ARAM remakes. Thank God. That shit is miserable if someone AFK is the beginning of an ARAM. Um, between game start and three minutes. Yeah, so yeah, it, I so I think the timer to get someone to AFK is one thirty. So like, if they DC at one twenty nine, that you, you can still remake. But if they DC like, I think I, I think if they DC at one thirty five, you legit can't remake. Oh gosh. Uh, ah, I hurt my toe. Um, some event missions arrived. Fix a bug where champion clothes would not receive increased damage from consecutive career shots. That's a big nerf to Shaco. And, uh, Nico, I guess. Fix a bug where Syndra's E would, would not do damage to epic monsters other than Rip Herald. That's funny. Fix the bug where Syndra's E could, could damage Gwen inside of her W. Lol. Fix the bug where Vigo in Syndra form would not release units p picked up with her W extra stopping position of Syndra. Fix the bug where Nihilus Q passive shield duration did not match the ability to Uh I wonder if it lasted longer or shorter. Uh, fix the bug where Mordekaiser's E visual effects would sometimes play twice per cast. Good. Fix a bug where Yumi's W adaptive force buff would disappear on allies affected by specific buffs. That's interesting. I wish they gave specifics, but whatever. Fix the bug where enemies hit by Rockin's R plus W combo would... Be able to use items and abilities while airborne. Lol. Um, I thought if you had tenacity, you can do that. Because I was under the impression, like, even if you're against an Alistar, you can flash even during a knockup because you're not stunned anymore, but you just knocked up and you can flash. But I think it is a bug because um, I think in some worlds or, like, some playoff the worlds, the Sephilios got charmed and was able to flash despite being charmed and like it was like it ran out so that's probably the bug like 
you're probably still CC, like you're charmed. It's probably something to do with charms. Face the bug where Darius are, but sometimes not reset. It's cool. If a target died a moment before taking damage. If a target died a moment before taking damage. Oh, so that was a bug. Okay. So that's a big buff to Darius, because now if you try to R and like, oh, he dies, I'm assuming that you were supposed to get the Darius reset, even if you didn't get the kill, which is a ginormous buff. Remove the show enemy information tooltips option from the game. We, no, we removed this functionality years ago, but we were trying to turn off this option, which did nothing. Show the... What? I'm guessing when you click on them, it would show like the little buffs are affected by. I'm not sure if that, is that even applied still or does that even work like that? I don't even know. Some skins. Wow. I mean, I'll probably get that one, that one, that one. I'll probably get that one. I'm not getting those. Like this one looks cool, but like, bro, I don't like that champion. Uh, that's it really. Um. Yeah, we're, we're going to keep it short like that. But overall, uh, I don't agree with Zenzel buff and Belveth nerf. Because, like, I'm not saying that Belveth's not strong. She's definitely very strong. I do think a lot of it, similar to Fiddlesticks, is just because people refuse to play against her properly. Like, Fiddlesticks is not obvious not to group up. It's not obvious that you have to word. Like, it's not like you're versing Kindred, where it's like, oh, the Mark's there, I'm Merc, I have to not die. Oh, Kindred's the Mark's over there, I need to get that from her and prevent it. Like, Belveth and Fiddlesticks, like, Fiddlesticks is not, it's, a, it's, the game, it's not obvious what to do, because the game's not saying word exactly here. And, and people are just really bad against Fiddlesticks, it's actually disgusting. Like, people just, do do Dragon, even though everyone's dead except Fiddlesticks. Like, why would you ever do that? You need to pull it out and get Vision and make sure he doesn't come and beat him out. Velvet, uh, same thing. It's just like she has the same gimmicky gameplay where she wants to get her apparel and she can only run a straight line. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Bye. <laughs>